Hey guys. Um, hola, ¿cómo están? En un segundo. Hey, pregunta <laughs> hoy. So, I was really struggling with the, the with deciding what to stream tonight. So, especially because I have like Halloween very close, and I already did something like Halloween themed during the last stream. So, what I decided to do was to um, mix. Some of the classical monsters like Dracula and Frankenstein and well the devil stuff like that, witches, maybe mix all of those classic monsters into the same one, like into into a single creature or at least a character. So I think I'm going that way with tonight streaming. And yeah, I'm just um, looking at some reference pictures. So um, it's gonna be like a mixture between the double, um, Frankenstein, and uh, a vampire, maybe. So just give me a couple of seconds while I gather some reference pictures. Estaba pensando para el streaming, como la vez pasada hice justamente algo de Halloween, no estaba seguro si poder hacer otra cosa o si sería como algo que se me antojara. Y al final creo que todavía tengo como el mood de Halloween, por lo que voy a, voy a hacer una combinación entre um, monstruos clásicos de, de los de Universal, entonces va a ser como... Halloween, um, pero un poco diferente. Quiero combinar un Drácula, con un vampiro con un Frankenstein, con, con una bruja tal vez. Entonces, solo... Dejen, solo busco unas cuantas imágenes de referencia y comenzamos... Entonces puede ser, ¿qué será? Al menos Frankenstein y Drácula por mientras, en lo que pienso que otro monstruo combinar. Porque podría ser Hombre Lobo también, pero creo que ya sería como, quizás sí un poco complicado. No sé, vamos a ver. Me, me quiero enfocar nada más en la cabeza. Uh, give me a second. So, um, I use PureRef for my reference pictures. Hopefully I'll have something different for today's streaming. So, um, I'm going to start with the Frankenstein shape of the head, you know, like the very square, um, classical uh, Frankenstein. Creo que para lo primero que voy a hacer es el como Frankenstein Ah, bruja um, Sí, es una buena idea, bruja Creo que tendría que ver como 
cómo integrar a la bruja en, en el personaje. Pero sí. No me desagrada la idea de bruja. Solo busco una última referencia y listo. So I'm just trying to find a, like the, the shape of a, a the head of a wolf, maybe. I'm trying to see if I can find something that I can fit into the design. I guess I'll start with this. Okay, so um, you know the drill. Um, usually I have my my brushes with um the Alpha Numeric um, hotkeys. So uh, if you see me like going through different brushes and you're you're not sure what I what I did, uh, feel free to ask. Hey, ¿qué onda? Arthur. ¿Cómo andas? Sí, va a ser como... Como el tema de Halloween otra vez. No estaba seguro si ir, pero... Sí voy a hacer algo así como medio Halloween. Y voy a quitar esto. Ahí está. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to... I do have, like, um, different questions, like, on the chat. But um, since I only have one window because I'm using a laptop, I need to, like, pause the streaming... Well, pause the, the sculpture and then switch to, to the to the chat, so um, be patient. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I've been using ZBrush for like, uh, I don't know, maybe seven years, your take. Agua de, agua de fuego. So I'm just going to start off defining the shapes. And I might only focus on the head. We'll see. I mean, the head's going to be like super, super square. Y la idea es que. Ahorita voy a empezar con lo de Frankenstein, porque es el que tiene como el cráneo más icónico. Pero voy a ir agregando como diferentes personajes poco a poco. La idea es que al menos ahorita tenga seguro, así 100% que va a tener Vampiro y Frankenstein. Pero habrá que ver. Igual y agrego... Me gustaría Bruja, pero todavía tengo que encontrar como la forma de integrarla en el diseño. Momia podría ser... Ok, 
que muy bien sería bastante sencillo solo ponerle vendas y ya. Ah, presente, pregunta. Great. Uh, what are we making? Um, I'm trying to mix like different classic monsters, like Frankenstein, um, a vampire, maybe a witch into like a same the same character, probably a werewolf too. So right now I'm just trying to do like the the very basic shape of the of the head of Frankenstein, well the monster of Frankenstein. But um, once I have like at least the head, I'm I'm still not sure if I'm gonna do a, like a full body of, of the character, but um, so far it's just going to be like the head, probably the neck and part of the shoulders, like a bust. Once I have everything defined, I'm, I'm going to start like adding the other characters into the design. So far I'm just trying to have like a, a Frankenstein style head so I can start sculpting. And I do have reference, um, yeah, mainly uh, anatomical reference, because uh, I mean, even though I've been doing this for some years, I'm still not even close to learning like the, the full human anatomy. So it's always super useful to have reference pictures of, of like what I'm, whatever I'm doing. Hey, Sibel, saludos. Carlos Swamsing. Es una buena idea, es un thing. Creo que igual no mucha gente le pone atención. No creo que sea tan difícil como meterle cosas de, de Swamp Thing. Voy a intentar. Ahorita quiero al menos definir al, al Frankenstein y después tratar de, de ir agregando los diferentes personajes. As usual, I try to do like everything in a very low poly sculpture. At least at the beginning. Y aunque no tengo mucha geometría, se puede hacer como con las sombras al leer un poco de las facciones del personaje. Y es verdad, tengo que grabarlo. So let me save this as... Oh, this is stream number 66, I believe. Still don't have a name for the character, so it's gonna, just gonna be monster. Uh, Prisma 3D versus Space Draw. I'm not familiar with in, um, either one of those. Pregunta. And podría no hacerlo tan tan redondo, solo rela ligeramente redondo que se vea el cráneo. This is gonna be the neck. It's not gonna be that small. Yeah. 
Y creo que más o menos es el estilo de monstruo que estoy tratando de lograr. Voy a ponerle unas orejas. No sé las orejas todavía si ponerlas. Podría hacerlas de una vez como... Bueno, sí. Relativamente grandes. Porque estoy pensando hacerlas como de... Ya sea de murciélago o de vampiro. Hey, peruano, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? ¡Qué milagro! ¿Cómo te ha ido, bro? Y creo que al menos como base este está bien. Voy a hacer el remesh by... Bueno, voy a grabar primero y luego le voy a hacer remesh by Dynamesh. Yeah, the, the idea is actually like doing a Frankenstein. However, um, it's gonna be like a different Frankenstein. He's going to be like a mixture between Dracula, Frankenstein, and some other classic monsters. Or at least those, those two. Y creo que con esto es suficiente. Ah, me da gusto, bro. A ver cuándo vamos al gotcha, ¿no? Te da miedo. And it's gonna be something like this. You can already start seeing the, the how the character is taking form. However, um, I think I will start adding the either the vampiric or the werewolf look to to the character.
Hey, Novi, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? Saludos hasta allá, Guayo Guayaquil, Ecuador. Ya tenía tiempo sin verte por aquí en el streaming. Hey, Doom, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo andas, bro? Va, va, me late, bro. Pues me avisas, ahí... Digo, ahorita no ando en México todavía, pero ya para diciembre voy a estar allá en, en la ciudad y pues arrabamos algo, ¿no? Ya tiene un chingo que no te veo. A menos que ya te dé miedo jugar gotcha, entonces pues ya lo entenderé y ya no te molestaré. Um, <laughs> adding Modman to, to the mixture? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think he's really hard to recognize and he's not really one of those classic um, universal monsters. Even though he's like a very uh, famous crypto creature. Uh, I'm not sure if everyone is going to be able to recognize Mothman. ¿Por qué azul? Um, ¿Azul qué? <laughs> y voy a intentar ir definiendo un poco más Aunque tengo ganas ya de empezar a agregarle los Atributos un poco más De, al de alien <laughs> de, de vampiro Voy a esperarme a tener un poquito más definido todo el resto del personaje, al menos la parte humana, antes de empezar a, a destruirle. Y lo que está padre de empezar con Frankenstein es que puedo hacerle cortes, o sea, literal, agarrar este pedazo y así, como que estuviera ensamblado. Pero ahorita nada más quiero definir como el personaje, sus proporciones un poquito más marcadas. Ah, perfecto, Doom. ¿Le estás dando algo mientras...? ¿Ves el streaming o estás haciendo otra cosa? Um, is this Spanish? Yeah, it's Spanish. I mean, uh, my streamings tend to be like both in, in English and Spanish, so feel free to ask anything in English if you want. So I'm trying to do a different version of Frankenstein. So this is going to be like, like a mixture of different different classic monsters like Dracula, or at least Dracula and Frankenstein so far. I'm still thinking maybe Swamp Thing, um, Werewolf, a witch is going to be a little hard to, to include, and the mummy is also going to be, I mean, doing the mummy is not going to be really that hard, but um, I mean, it's just adding some like ropes to the face and stuff like that, bandages. So uh, I'm not sure about the mummy part, but we'll see. Zombie could be. Sure, no problem. <laughs> va, va, pues, a ver si es cierto. Ya tiene un buen que no jugó también. I mean, you can barely tell that he's like a very big or robust guy, so I think so far it's looking kind of like Frankenstein. Oh, 
Oh, you're dressing up in Halloween uh, as Frankenstein. <laughs> it's been a, actually. I mean, you don't get to see the, those classic monsters that often on Halloween parties that um that often anymore. So it's really cool to see a Frankenstein or a werewolf or those classic monsters again reappearing during Halloween. Did you do like your own costume or um, did you buy the costume? Uh, esculpir. ¿Qué personaje vas a hacer? Um, es una combinación entre Frankenstein y al menos hasta ahorita es como un Frankenstein vampiro o algo así. La idea es que quiero combinar diferentes monstruos en uno solo, pero no mentariamente solo he pensado en tanto Drácula o Murcia, um, Werewolf, um, Hombre Lobo, o ¿cuál otro? Mm, me gustaría incluir algo de bruja en el personaje, pero creo que estaría un poco difícil. Habría que pensar una forma de incluirlo. Y voy a guardar este. The second version. And then I'm going to switch materials because I already got tired of the gray one. So maybe something like this. And I always forget to download like some songs to listen while I sculpt. So I'm always using the YouTube music library, but um Apparently they don't have like any like autoplay, so you have to be selecting each song and then hit the play and then selecting the next one and so on and so on. So it's very um, time consuming. Y voy a empezar a agregarle un poquito las cosas como de hombre lobo podría ser. Ah, tendría que sacarle el hocico. Y huele la nariz, la podré levantar como de murciélago. So, let's see how it goes. Actually, before doing this, I'm gonna save a morph target. Antes de hacer todos los cambios, voy a grabar un morph target para tener como un, una forma de regresar en caso de que algo no me guste. Por ejemplo, no, no, me estaba gustando, no me estaba gustando mucho cómo se veía la nariz en ese momento.
se vai com, com simiesco. So right now I'm going to start using Sculpture Pro. Uy, el problema de haber luchado eso con Sculptures Pro es que perdí mi Morph Target. Ya ni modo. Ups, creo que... Oh, creo que cierra la ventana del chat. Shit. Sí, en algún momento cierra la ventana del chat, lo siento. Sorry guys, if you were like writing on... Like, I, I'm asking questions on the chat. Um, I didn't notice that uh, some... At a certain moment, I closed the, the chat window and I couldn't see the messages. So, sorry guys. Hey, being light games. <laughs> no, it's always it's always important. Um, hey, how are you doing? Yeah, sorry guys. So, um, for those of you who are new to the streaming, I'm trying to do like a mixture between Frankenstein, maybe Dracula, or maybe a werewolf. So I'm, I'm trying to mix some of the classic monsters together into a single creature. So um, that's the idea of, of the streaming tonight. Esta podría hacerlo un poco para atrás. Oh, no, I'm going to try to open the mouth a little bit.
No, I'm not really digging the design. Y voy a tratar de improvisar un poco las formas. Since I'm just playing with the shapes, um, it's very really hard to design right now the creature that I had in mind. So I'm going to start adding the like the fangs, so it's easier for me to, to see how the creature is going to be at the end. Now for me the question is, shall it be, should it be like, um, like a vampire or like a werewolf? Yeah, super handsome guy. <laughs> so let me see. I think he's going to be either a vampire or a werewolf. I think vampire is gonna be a better option. I'm more fond of like vampires than werewolves.
<laughs> wolf wolf yeah let me see if i can actually fit both the werewolf and the vampire into the same creature hey clover awesome <laughs> great thanks for coming by um a hey, pregunta um mi brasil uh, I, I don't actually speak any um portuguese so um sorry man I'm not sure about the nose. So. Me gusta mucho la nariz que tiene como toda chata de Frankenstein. Que es curioso que cada persona que tiene una nariz muy única. Y voy a utilizar unas esferas para los ojos. <laughs> he looks super weird right now. Hey Jorge, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? ¡A la bestia! <ríe> ¿Qué onda, Irra? Ya, yeah. disculpe, pregunta. I, I, I remember some words that I learned. But it's mainly like, um, do you speak English in, in Portuguese? Like, uh, we'll say, um, fala English, something like that. Ah, that is, bro. Hey, Charles, good night. 
all the way from Angola, Africa. That sounds super, super cool. And maybe I'll do something a little different with the fangs. I'm going to use the same teeth for the jaw. Just going to rotate and scale down because they're meant to be smaller. Hey, sí, ya tenía tiempo sin verte por acá, Jorge. Bien, bien. ¿Cómo te va a ti? ¿Andas trabajando en algo ahorita?
Well, yeah, he kind of looks like a werewolf. If I do like the very black nose, <laughs> like you, like the classic one, right? So I don't know, maybe it's another another option. A little silly guy. A Ivan Karvainov from Siberia. For real? Hey Mario, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo estás? Claro. Bueno, um. No, dame una pista. <ríe> Yo creo que digo, y lo mejor sería poner los ojos medio cerrados. Oops, se ve super cool ahora super bueno. No, se ve super feo. Y la ceja la voy a hacer más, más como Frankenstein. De hecho, los ojos los voy a meter un poco más. Ah, perfecto. Ah, pues bienvenido, bro. Qué bueno que andas por acá otra vez. Uh, estoy participando en el Scooptober. Yo ahora lo dejé en Blockout. 
sí terminan algunos, al fin de cuentas, que nos gustaron. Suele pasar, ¿no? Sí, de hecho, yo igual empecé el... Bueno, yo empecé Inktober, pero lo empecé con, con el Oculus Quill, con VR, y nada más hice tres, entonces... Realmente no... No fue como a mi mejor Inktober. Pero bueno, al menos hice unas tres piezas en VR. Supongo que es mejor que nada. I'm not really digging those eyes. I'm not sure what's going on with the eyes. Y quizás pinch y de aquí. No me siguen gustando los ojos. Vamos a ver. Uh, how many years have you studied sculpture? Um, I don't know, I'll say around seven years, give or take. I mean, I, I'm far from being a master, but thank you even. But I, I guess you you never stop studying. So even though if you, you might have like a very good level, you're still learning. So um, yeah, it's really hard to tell. Hey, Said. <laughs> well, Persian from Italy. Oh, <laughs> that's very. That's something you don't see very often on on the streaming. So welcome. I actually know plenty of people called Said. I think I'm just gonna go with the remesh by Dynamesh because I am not really feeling the character. Something like this. And I'm just gonna focus on the face because right now there's something that is lacking on the character.
I think I'm going to add a little bit more geometry. El chiste es hacer cosas, ya también no he podido hacer siempre uno diario. Sí, es bastante complicado. Hubo un tiempo, hace como dos, tres años, que por cuatro o cinco meses sí estuve haciendo uno diario. Pero, pero la verdad sí es complicado. Y ya tiene tiempo que, que no, no me aviento uno diario. Igual estaría padre hacer otra vez eso. Uh, ¿Is that the mouth sculptures? No, it's ok, Clover. Um, Yeah, I was using sculptures earlier. Right now, uh, I really want to have um, enough geometry everywhere, so I'm using Dynamesh again. But usually, when I really want to like focus on certain parts of of the character, like very very unique parts, and I need more resolution, then I'll go with Sculptures Pro. But um, yeah, at the very beginning, I was using Sculptures Pro for the eyes, the mouth, especially. So I'm really having some issues with the mouth. I'm still not really... I feel the design is lacking something, but I'm, I'm not sure what's lacking. Is una de las cosas padres de Cibrosh es que si algo no te está gustando, pues simplemente te puedes dar el gusto de borrarlo y, y rehacerlo. Es lo padre de trabajar con escultura digital que la, la opción de poder rehacer las cosas es siempre como una muy muy buena opción. Especial estos ojos son los que no me encantan. Um, oh, you're welcome, Said. Um, ¿Qué es Heretic Templar? Es como mi nickname. La verdad es que <ríe> empecé ese nickname hace ya bastante tiempo en Xbox Live, cuando jugaba mucho. Y se quedó. O sea, he, he pensado justamente si cambiarlo, si igual irlo borrando poco a poco de mis redes sociales. Pero por mientras sí, sí me he ido quedando con, con lo de Heretic Templar. Es como mi seudónimo, mi nickname.
ya creo que está quedando un poco más con la forma que tiene Frankenstein, en especial de los ojos. No tener no quiere hacerle unos ojos como súper activos. Que supone que está como medio muerto y así. Uh, this is your main job, sculpting? Yeah, uh, yeah, I mainly do 3D all the time, every day, even in my free time, so yeah, sculpting is like my main job. Uh, I've been doing like stuff for video games, um, animation, sculptures for like 3D printing, going from toys, jewelry, um, prosthetic um, limbs, toys, so the, I mean, it's one of the cool things about 3D, you can actually get into different industries, and especially Zippers makes everything super easy. Charles, ¿cuánto tiempo ven haciendo ese trabajo? Um, siete, ocho años. The model is like my boss at work. <laughs> well, you have a very ugly boss then. Um, el intento del pasado participé, logré completar el mes, pero no sé si algunas cosas me gustan y otras no. Sí, lo padre que puedes agarrar como lo que sí te gustó del mes e irlo incorporando a, a, a tus personajes o a una, una escultura o algo así. So now he looks more like zombified, more tired, less alive. So that's it's more like the idea that I had for this like Frankenstein. But maybe instead of him looking so like tired, I'll make him look a little bit more aggressive. La boca todavía no, no me gusta, pero voy a ir boca a poco modificando esto. Uh, ¿Cuál es 
ser un personaje que tú más admiras? Um, you mean like an artist? Uh, ¿Artista o personaje como, como de que Charles? So, uh, what type of character you mean? Like, uh, like an artist that I admire? Jorge, uh, ¿vives en México? Sí, estoy ahorita en Tijuana. Sí, la idea es que tenga como ese look. O sea, mi idea es que justamente fue una combinación de entre varias criaturas, al menos monstruos clásicos. Quería empezar con Frankenstein, pero la verdad es que estaba pensando que igual y meter Frankenstein con bruja y luego con momia y con murciélago, digo, con vampiro y hombre lobo, iba a ser tal vez demasiado. Entonces me estoy enfocando un poco en qué tal si Frankenstein fuera mordido por un vampiro o o fuera ensamblado por piezas de vampiro. Entonces es un poco la idea. Por eso tiene como los dientes de Nosferatu. Monstro. Um, so there's like a, I mean, I follow like a, a lot of uh, different artists that create uh, monsters. So uh, I mean, only to name a few. For example, Dominic Quick. Um, what's the name? Um, Carlos Guante. Um, who else? Um, Anthony Jones. I mean, I mean, there's like a big number of different artists that uh, create monsters. Um, Martin Verhoeven. Um, who else? I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of um artists that I I follow, but um, it's really hard to tell right now. Ah, saludos hasta allá, a Guatemala. De hecho, un día me gustaría Antigua. Dicen que es muy bonita. El año pasado estuve en Sudamérica, en Perú. Y sí, sí, parece que me encantaría visitar entre esos Guatemala e ir a Antigua.
existe escuela o un, universidad para, para tener um, aulas de modelaje en 3D. Um, aquí, here in Mexico, yeah, there's like um, a lot of universities and different colleges that um, teach different um, careers related to 3D. Um, but um, I'm not sure if it's sometimes uh, it's that's good. Um, as far as I know, uh, most of the, the artists that I know, they 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 learn by the, by themselves by um, buying tutorials by um, looking for tutorials on YouTube and different parts on different forums, etc. So sometimes um, being in college or maybe in a career related to 3D, it's not sometimes that uh, such a good idea or, or such a good investment. Depends on on each character. Antiguo es muy visitado y es muy bonito, pero si quieres ir a más lugares te recomiendo Panajachel, Tikal, ah Tikal, tengo muchas ganas de ir a Tikal, sí, Chela. Ah, no sé si es un tema delicado y perdona mi ignorancia de geografía, pero Tijuana no queda cerca de Culiacán. No, no, la verdad es que no estamos cerca. Um, tij Tijuana, digamos que si ves el mapa de México... Es la esquina superior izquierda. Así no puedes ir más a, más, a la más a la izquierda en México. Es justo la esquinita donde termina Baja California. Y Culiacán, um, o sea, está... Lo dijo en la frente de, de Frankenstein. Esto es México. Aquí empieza Estados Unidos. Aquí está Tijuana. Y Culiacán estaría por aquí. En mi mapa horrible. Me gusta cómo se ve sin ojos, podría ser una opción. Something like this, and then. El mapa improvisado, sí. <risa> mm. 
Mm. Voy a acompañar a Laula. Um, Gola, um, give me a second because that I couldn't understand. Uh, no, no, currently I'm not going to school. Uh, I went to school like uh, maybe <laughs> like seven years ago, maybe. <laughs> oh, wow. But, um, right now, um, here in Mexico, it's... Um, let me see, because I have a different time zone. It's 8, 8.35 p.m. That's super early there in, in Angola. Uh, ¿No te ha pasado que haces un objeto, le das mirror y luego mirror well, pero no se cae el mismo objeto del otro, del otro lado? Sí, es súper común. Pero entonces lo que tengo que hacer es darle otra vez mirror para que se regrese el otro lado. Y así ya pueda, pueda ver qué onda. Porque sí, muchas veces pasa que se duplica del lado incorrecto. Oh, I haven't saved. That's that's right. Thanks, guys.
No me gustan los dientes, ¿cómo está quedando? ¿Qué será? Voy a probar con otros dientes. Cuando uh, cuando que vens hacer una visita a Angola, conoce a cultura angolana. Well, uh, I would love to, to be honest. Um, I think that um, the flight from Mexico to Africa is quite expensive, but um, it's on like my wish list things to do, like when when they visit and explore Africa. So um, hopefully in the near future, <laughs> in the near future, I'll, I'll be able to, to make that trip. duplicate this set of teeth. Uh, I'm not really enjoying those those ones. So I'm gonna delete. Actually, uh, try something different for this. More like, um, what's the name of those series of vampires? The Strand. The Strand? I think The, Str the Strain, something like that. The one from Guillermo del Toro. The Strain, something like that. No, I'm not really digging those, that, like, thong.
um, start breaking the symmetry. <ríe> Pobre monstruo quedó cholco. Sí, nada más un poquito. <ríe> I wanted to know, um, maybe a little silly question. Well, there is no silly questions. Uh, do you have any advice for beginners? Um, I mean, it's it's kind of like a cliche. Everyone says it's the same thing, but um, try to practice a lot of anatomy. I mean, to be super super honest you can actually tell um the work from someone who has been like investing a lot of time a lot of time studying anatomy again someone who doesn't really care about that much about the anatomy even creating monsters anatomy is super important so um i mean that would be one of my advice the other one would be like try not to compare your work to, to some other people i mean no, it's, i know it's super hard not to do that but uh, I mean, try, um, try, try to have your own like style and try to have your own like. I mean, try to understand you. You have your own like um, your own career, and it's not super healthy to compare all the time to to other people and other people's work. So I guess those those would be like my advices, like studying anatomy and trying to enjoy this i mean it's a, a very cool thing to to be working on like doing sculptures all day and working on 3d even even if it's 3d for for games or for advertisement or video games i mean um, movies anything like that just enjoy enjoy everything i mean it's it's something really cool to be working on and not a lot, a lot of people is able to work on this so um Try to enjoy every every piece of it. scary stories to tell in the dark no there's like a, a tv show made based on a comic book called the strain i think it's called so it's it's produced by guillermo del toro but it's also like i mean it's about um like you know the apocalypse with uh, vampires and all that it's really cool but those vampires have like like a very cool system of fangs instead of having like you know the typical um dracula with the two um canines growing on super 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 big he does have like those um 
it looks more like a parasite, like kind of like an insect. Um, they are really, really cool and cool, very well designed, those vampires. Uh, no, it's not like a Russian transmission. <laughs> this is from Mexico. Um, Zbrush Maya 3D Blender entre. Is this existe una diferencia in términos de modelado? Uh, is this existe una diferencia in termos de modelado? Well, yeah, I, I mean. Between Maya and Blender, there, there isn't that much difference. Pretty much, it's, it's the same. Um, the only difference is the cost. I mean, Blender is for free, and Maya has a very high cost. But um, not a lot of the studios are using Blender. I mean, if you, if you want to learn to, to use Blender by your own, to create your own personal projects, then that's a really good idea. Otherwise, if you're trying to get like a job in the industry by using Blender, that's going to be really hard because most of the studios, they, they rely by using uh, like out of this products, like for example, Trudius Max or Maya, software like that. So um, even though they're pretty much the same, everyone is using Blender. I mean, <laughs> everyone is using Maya and Max instead of using um, Blender. So those would be like the same, like uh, those would be like the difference. And compared between ZBrush and Blender and Maya, they're completely different software. ZBrush is like um, the software that goes into the pipeline, super, super easy. So even if you're creating something, for example, for video games, then you, there's a possibility you will be using ZBrush. If you're creating something for video games or movies or for sculptures, Mainly, you're gonna be using ZBrush for all of that, but it, you're not gonna use only ZBrush. You're actually using ZBrush with or um, a side of some, some other software, like for example Maya. So hopefully, I I tried to make myself clear, but I'm not sure if you actually understood what I was saying, um, Charles. Oh, you're welcome, Clover. Oh. Yeah, it's called the strain. Thank you, Tubelik. Yeah, it's a really nice show. I only saw like the first, or maybe until, uh, yeah, I think I only saw the first season. Maybe it's until this, uh, I was able to finish the second season, I'm not sure. But I really want to get back into to the strain. It's a really cool show. Does it feel uh, if it's the Halloween feeling? I'm gonna try something different for this. Maybe closing a little bit more the mouth. ¿Qué otros programas usas? Pues Maya, Max. Marvelous Designer, 
Keyshot, Substance Painter, Substance Designer, Mari. Um, ¿Cuál otro? Nuke. Mm, Algorithmic. Agisoft uh, um, para 3D scanning. Um, Reality Capture. La suite de Adobe. Son, son varios. Real Flow. Was one of the only TV series that I've watched, which only got better with each with each season. Yeah, I have no idea why I stopped um, following this train. I might have to get back to it because it was a really really good show. Has it ended? Like, um, are they still doing like different um, new episodes of, of this train, or is it over? Or was it cancelled? Something like this? With the mouth like this. Oh, it finished a while ago. Oh, well, at least it finished and it wasn't cancelled, right? Orquesta, comienza ahora. Como yo. Coisas. Give me a second because that I couldn't understand. So, um, yeah, those. I mean, it's pretty much the same advices that I gave earlier. So if you're starting, I mean, mainly I, I'll say just try to study as much anatomy as you can. That's super useful. And try not to, to get like um, disappointed if you're not like um, getting into art station, like in the trending um, part or or into like the peaks of art station. Well, I mean, try not to compare your work all the time against people that they've been doing this for, for several years. So that would be like the main advice. Because sometimes you get like disappointed about the quality of your work, but, but you're, I mean, you're a beginner, you're starting. So it's understandable that you don't really that good enough to be in like in trending or to be like, you know, among people that have been doing this for several years. No, he's starting to look like a goblin. Mm. 
maybe actually I'll make the ears smaller. I think I'll go with this one. Hey, attentive, attentive slug. <laughs> Love your name. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm trying to to do like a version of Frankenstein that it's also a vampire. So hopefully it doesn't look entirely like a goblin. Uh, thank you very much, Charles. Uh, todos los programas que mencionaste sabes lo básico o eres avanzado creo que saber todos los programas a la vez puede ser confuso por las interfaces sí definitivamente um, al menos los principales en donde sí soy avanzado es Max Maya Zbrush um, es, es la principal parte en cuanto a modelado el resto pues es un nivel básico básico en el que puedo ubicarme y sacar como proyectos o sea todos los que mencioné pues son los que utilizo para el trabajo, entonces, aunque no, no me llamaría experto en esos, me puedo, me puedo mover las interfaces sin problemas, sé cómo hacer las cosas, 
quizás no estaría en el nivel en el que puedo dar feedback y puedo como um, llevar um, más allá ciertos proyectos, pero al menos en el punto en el que puedo sacar proyectos adelante sin problemas, sí. Oh, give a second, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, ¿Cuánto tiempo llevas en esto del 3D? Uh, unos 8 años, tal vez. 7 u 8 años. O sea, obviamente estoy incluyendo cuando estuve en la carrera y, y que simplemente nada me salía bien. <risa> Pero sí, más o menos 7 u 8 años. Trying to make um, not a very symmetrical Frankenstein, since he's made like from different corpses. I didn't want it to have like a very symmetrical face. Made no sense. No, but tongue like that.
Just gonna go a little just improvising the shapes. And I'm trying to see if those did actually now work with the new design. So it's always a good idea to save um, your um, different versions of, of the mesh in case you want to come back and reuse them or maybe give them another chance with another design. We always try to save different versions. I'm gonna save this version and I'm gonna start using some alphas just to have something to sculpt on. I'm gonna subdivide once. And let's see. Save more target, morph target. Uh, maybe not that one, this. And you know, has just gonna go with the flow and I'm not gonna worry about the topology and anything like that, just start sculpting details.
I want to have like very clean shapes on certain parts of, of the face, especially like right here on the forehead. Y realmente toda esa parte solo estoy improvisando, siendo es como es como sketchear en 2D. And uh, maybe one side like super infected of some of something, so it's like super inf um poof. <laughs> Ah, uh, this actually looks super fun. <laughs> this is like a, one of those happy accidents. I think I'm gonna actually go with this. Now I'm really digging the design. And I'm gonna keep the ones on the bottom. And this, I'm gonna hide it. Hide it for now. Uh, oh, I see it, Charles. Yeah, it's super. Well, it's super early right there, 5 a.m. Um, have a good day. Um, really nice to meet you. Good luck there on on Africa. Hopefully, one day we'll be able to meet. Have a good one, Charles. Uh, supongo que ya te han hecho esta pregunta antes, pero cuando comenzaste a comentar. Cuando comenzaste a trabajar fue como freelance o en algún estudio. Uh, fue en un estudio. Un profesor de la universidad me, me dijo que si sí me interesaba entrar a un estudio de videojuegos que él tenía, bueno que él estaba empezando y fue un estudio de videojuegos de, como indie, indie mobile. Estuvo padre la verdad. Quizás es lo único bueno que se puede sacar como de ir a una universidad y estudiar, que sacas como contactos y es contactos pues te pueden ofrecer trabajo más adelante. Yo tengo la suerte que muchos de mis proyectos han sido porque algún conocido o alguien así es el que me recomienda. Pero igual, si no, si la universidad no es una opción, igual para conocer personas están todos los festivales que hacen de animación. El Pixlatl es un ejemplo muy muy bueno de festivales que hacen. Y no sé cuántas veces lo menciono en los streamings, pero ir a festivales es muy muy buena, muy buena opción.
Y creo que voy a utilizar un AMM para ciertas partes de la cabeza. Save this version before going and adding some IMMs. So if I see something that can actually fit into my Frankenstein. I can use one of those. I mean, it's a little cliche, but um, click hidden. And maybe instead of having just one side, I mean both sides, I'll have it just on one side. But going through the head. This one right here. Um, y eventos en línea existirán, algo así como un festival pero en internet mm, no que yo sepa o sea, la mayoría de los festivales tienen como como streaming o guardan ciertas conferencias, pero lo padre de los, de los festivales es que justamente vas y conoces personas, entonces pierde un poco sentido que sea en línea por ejemplo, el evento de Seabrush que hacen cada año el Seabrush Summit, se guardan todas las conferencias y de hecho, todas las conferencias son, hacen, bueno, les hacen streaming en vivo. Entonces, puedes ver la conferencia al mismo tiempo, pero muchas veces lo padre de ahí es conocer a la gente y así. And I think I'm gonna call it done for tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna collect done. At, at least for tonight. Hopefully, I, I know I always say this, but hopefully I'll be able to finish it later. <laughs> I really want to start finishing all my streamings, or at least all the characters that I do on my streamings. Just a little shadow to make it pop. So um, thanks to everyone who came to the streaming. Um, I won't be able to stream next Thursday because it's Halloween, so no streaming next week for me. But I'll see you on... Actually, I won't be able to stream on the first week of, 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 of November, so I guess I'll see you until the 14th of, no of November in two weeks. Ah, oh, thank you, attentive. 
yeah hope, hopefully we'll see each other on uh, during the next streaming which is going to be hopefully in, on the second week of november um have a good one guys thanks to everyone who, who was here on the streaming um enjoy halloween yeah ya ya terminó jorge voy a dejarlo aquí el personaje y por mientras espero terminarlo siempre digo eso pero ojalá y lo termine Uh, no habrá streaming el, la próxima semana Ni tampoco la primera semana de noviembre Será hasta el 14 de noviembre mi próximo streaming Entonces nos vemos el 14 Disfruten su Halloween uh, Yeah, um, I think that's all Oh yeah, my, my social media um, Down here you can find my social <laughs> Down here you can find my social media uh, Give me a second No, no Here it is. Yep. So you can find my, you can find me on ArtStation, Instagram, um, Facebook. So feel free to add me. Uh, if you're like sending me sending me a request on Facebook, just let me know that you're from the streaming because sometimes um, uh, I just receive like random friend requests and I'm not certain if it's something related to 3D or anything like that. But uh, and otherwise, um, on Instagram and on ArtStation, I'm. I mean, easy to find. Um, yep. Yeah. Have a good night, everyone. See you in two weeks. Enjoy your Halloween and your Day of the Dead. Oh, I, sh I should have done something for Day of the Dead. Well, well, I guess it, it's a missed opportunity. Um, yep. Have a good one. Muchas gracias, Jorge. Nos vemos en el siguiente. Descansen. Nos vemos en dos semanas. Y... Pueden encontrar mi social media aquí abajo, mi art station, Instagram, Facebook. Nada más que si me agregan a Face, mencionaba que a veces me llegan como friend request muy random y luego no sé si son de los streamings o es de otra parte. Entonces igual nada más avísenme o manden un mensaje de que es del, del streaming y ya con eso estamos. Pues nos vemos en dos semanas, que descansen.